Well, this area of lower Manhattan could actually see some lockdowns if those supporters do show out. Now, that additional witness expected to testify this morning and, and throughout the entire day is attorney Bob Costello, a longtime ally of former President Donald Trump and also a once legal advisor to Michael Cohen. The investigation continues into former President Donald Trump's alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump's legal team requesting to have Costello testify before the grand jury on Monday, according to ABC News, which may imply his testimony could contradict Michael Cohen's. Cohen is a key witness for the DA's office since he says he coordinated the $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels to keep quiet about the alleged fare with the former president. The fact that the Manhattan DA thinks uh, that uh, indicting President Trump is his top priority, I think, is just tells you everything you need to know about the radical left. Trump posted on his Truth Social account claiming he'll be arrested on Tuesday and called for his supporters to protest. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg sent an email to staff assuring them that the NYPD and security will keep employees safe, writing in part, we do not tolerate attempts to intimidate our office or threaten the rule of law in New York. Our law enforcement partners will ensure that any specific or credible threats against the office will be fully investigated and that the proper safeguards are in place so all 1,600 of us have a secure work environment. The American people have every right to peaceably assembly and to let their voice be heard. But that being said, there can be no tolerance for the kind of violence that we saw on January 6th or throughout the summer of 2020. And PIX11 News has received a tip that the New York Young Republicans group will be protesting outside DA Bragg's office later tonight.